In today's e-commerce landscape, customers expect endless options and performance when shopping online. GraphQL helps developers like yourself meet these demands with its scalable framework. Whether you're new to GraphQL or looking to deepen your understanding, we're here to help. In this video, we'll explore what GraphQL is and how it differs from the more widely known REST API. REST is an architectural style with straightforward standards that gives you the ability to write code that can communicate between clients. When requesting data from a specific data set, it returns all the data points from that data set alone. With GraphQL, you can request specific data fields across multiple data sets. A good way to think about REST is like ordering from a set menu. Even when you only like one item from the set, you have to get everything that comes with it. Alternatively, GraphQL is like going to a buffet. You can choose and assemble your own meal with exactly the items you want. What makes GraphQL so powerful is that it models data as a network graph. This provides an efficient way of organizing Shopify data that makes retrieving and configuring it easy. Let's take a look at an example. An online clothing retailer sells multiple colors and sizes of the same dress. They also offer both rental subscriptions and prepaid options for products being released in seasonal collections. Let's start with the dress, which is a product. There are multiple variants of the dress available. This dress and other clothing, like skirts and tops, might be included in a summer collection and sold via different selling plans. For example, this could be a clothing rental subscription or a prepaid option before the summer collection is launched. Other information stored as meta fields, like washing instructions, for example, can all be easily accessed with GraphQL since it's modeled as a network. There are two main actions you can achieve with GraphQL. The first is a query. This lets you pull data from Shopify's database without changing anything. This is similar to a GET request in the REST API. The second type of operation is called a mutation. As the name suggests, this operation allows you to mutate or modify server-side data. A GraphQL mutation is similar to a put, post, or delete request in the REST API. Now, unlike the REST API, GraphQL queries and mutations are always a post request and are sent to a single endpoint. This means you can access data across Shopify's whole data model with a single call. So now you're familiar with how GraphQL works compared to the REST API. In the next video, we'll walk you through some sample scenarios to explore what you can do with GraphQL.